Hello and welcome to the Biz Biz channel with your host, Miss Biz, or Pretty Bird, as she calls herself. She has been out for about an hour. Um, she is playing with my gauge at the moment, being tickled by my hair, which you can see. She has started gliding. As you can see, she's got a little bit of her flight feathers. So she opens up her wings. Last night, when we had her bath water, we had it in a t uh, 9 by 16 glass dish. It was sitting right here. She flew from here all the way over to here. That's pretty far for her. She hasn't flown that far. And then this morning... My husband let her out, and then she decided that she was not going to sit on the cage anymore and wait for us. So we're not exactly sure where she flew f to or from. Well, she flew from the cage. To Is it up right here? here? Yeah, up there. Right so here. she flew from up here all the way to this wire. My husband could hear her chirping, and but he couldn't see her because she wasn't on the cage. <laughs> Well, she, he walked around and saw her on the cord and she looked up at him like, I flew, Dad, I flew. <laughs> Love you. Okay. Did you want to use, did you take some of the wash coins? Okay. So, as you can see, Pity Bird is out and loving life. Pity Bird. She was singing Row, Row, Row Your Boat, which we have it as oh Row, God. Row, Row Your Boat Gently Down the Stream. Merrily, 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 pretty birds what? a dream. She does sing it. She oh says Row, God. Row, and then which is boat. And then she'll sing Merrily, 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 merrily. But we're not exactly sure how she says it. And then, of course, she says, which is pretty bird dream. So she's doing that. She also, we're working with her to say, I love you. But she can say it sometimes, but not all the time. Um, you guys know that she does not talk very much when she's out of the cage. Um, only when she's in the cage and covered up. That is the only time that we can get her to talk. Last night we were working with her though to say, I love you. Because that's how she says it. Is I love you pretty bird. But for some odd reason, she just does not talk outside the cage. I don't know. Um, she was kind of nippy. Um, like extremely nippy. She, uh, not there anymore, but she bit me in like right here on the hand. You can kind of see the dots, right? I can't point to it because I'm holding my phone, but she bit me there. Not for any reason, really, except for, um, it was last night. We were trying to get her to get in the tub, which we put her put our fingers in and splash in the water and then she like then she'll get in and start splashing with us well we were trying to get her in and dad started like touching her tail which she does not like at all so from that point she my hand was stiff and somehow she was able to grab my skin and pull it up so she thought it was me doing it, even though it wasn't. I was the closest human for her to bite. Nip at. Um, she is not biting or nipping anymore when we try to get her out of the cage, which is really good. Um, we are working with her to try and fly short distances. Um, just because we got her when she was clipped and I feel really really bad we're not going to clip her feathers we want her to be able to fly just like our parakeets so as you can see she's got 
quite a few more flight feathers there. She used to only have like one or two, and it looks like she has like three or four now. So we're hoping that they'll keep growing and she'll be able to take flight and fly around a little bit. I've tried, now as you can see, she loves my gauge. She loves anything shiny. But um, when I tried to give her like tweezers, because she was playing with these before, she gets really scared of them and will back off. She'll seriously like back away if I try and give them to her. See? See how she backs away? She does the same thing with, like, this tiny spoon that I got for her, too. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It won't hurt you. Um, this is a little spoon that I won off of the Clawy, um, claw app thing. And, see, it's just, I mean, it's got a kitty on it, but it's super, super tiny, as you can see, like, my thumb will fit inside of it. So it's super, super small. And it's shiny too, as you can see, because it's metal. But she won't play with it either. She's scared of them. Um, she's also scared of the dark. So what we do is you can see we have this little Scentsy. We'll take off the top so it kind of lights up our kitchen a little bit. So even though she's covered, there's still a little bit of light. What? Mm. Um, I didn't lick my lips first. Oh, that's my baby. Mm. I love you. Mm. I love you, pity bird. Mm. I love you. We are trying to say, I love you. You, you, pity bird, huh? That's what we try to do, because in some of the other videos, we notice that people nod. So that's what we were trying to do. She is a rocker bird, so she loves, oh, this is for my glasses again. Um, she loves rocking music. So I listen to Skillet, I listen to, like, Three Doors Down. She does like Michael Jackson. Um, she jams to it and will sing. She also will jam to my husband's music. She will also jam to, um, like I said, Michael Jackson. She loves Thriller and Rockin' Robin. Those are her two favorite songs. What are you doing? Hello, P.T. Bard. She's on my lens, but you quit. Don't scratch my glasses. You can give me kisses. Give me sugars. Thank you. Mwah. I love you. Um, she also likes my teeth. See? Which, they are dentures, guys, so no fret. Um... I love you. And I just brushed them, so I'm not sure why she's... She loves my teeth. I want to try and get her to where she will um, play with some other things. Uh, we have lots of, like, small little balls that she can play with. We've even got, like, if you can see, we have that perch over there. But the minute we put her on it, she wants up on my shoulder. She does not like to sit on it. The only thing she'll sit on that she really, really likes is my grandma's chair. She won't get on it if the blanket is there. It has to be bare like this. And then she'll get on it. Um, and she'll just kind of walk back and forth and uh, chirp and have a good old time. She does not like to be on the floor for some reason. Um she loves to be held. Huh. Mwah. Peaky bard. Um, if you guys have any ideas or anything on how I can get her to where she'll play with different toys, with a spoon like I've seen, um, even with some of her, 
other toys. The only other toy that she'll play with is two others in her cage. And that is this chain, these chains. She'll play with these, which are the bells. She'll play with, she doesn't play with that bell very much. And she plays with this one sometimes, as you can see. But you can see that one back there. That weaving used to be all the way up, and she has kind of torn it apart. Um, so she doesn't play with anything like that. Um, we've tried to get her to, but she's kind of a picky one, huh? Are you picky? I've tried different toys, so if you guys have any ideas or different toys that I can introduce to her and be able to bring them out so that she can play with them, that would be great. Now, I will show you, this is another toy that we had picked up for her for Christmas. It has a bell on it, and it's got, like, wood, which she likes, and she likes these little um, pieces of paper. But as you can see, she's scared of them. Terrified. She steps away. She doesn't like it. We've tried hanging it in her cage. Then she'll play with it. But the minute we bring it out to where she can play with the outside of the cage with us, she will not do it. I don't know why. I've tried kind of looking it up and researching, but I can't seem to find any answers. Huh. Yeah, we got to figure out what's going on with you, Peachy Bard. Um... When we aren't giving her attention, she'll love to talk with our parakeets. Um, I am going to start working with her on this. On, I want to start working with the budgies, or the parakeets, on this channel as well. So we have Bird Bird, which is White Bird. Her name is Bella. We call her Bells. And the green one, we haven't actually come up with a name yet. She, he kind of looks like, I would like to call him Kiwi, but that's my son's lizard's name, so we can't do, oh, you like Kiwi? Huh. So if you guys have a name of a fruit for the little green bird that you can see, the white one is Bird Bird, or Bells, and... Green bird. I'm not sure. So if you guys have a name, comment though that name down below. I am going to start training them on my days off. They recommend to do it every day, but it kind of depends on my schedule. It depends on if I have the chance after working with Biz and see if I can get her to do a couple of different things and then working with them. So. If you have a name, definitely comment that name down below. Maybe we could call him Lime. Because he kind of looks like a lime. Watermelon. I don't know. What fruits are green and yellow? I really want to call you Kiwi. I really do. Anyway. Say bye, Peaky Bart. P.S. It's time to let them go. Say bye. Aw, oh, you give them kiss. Aw, oh, you give them kiss. What a good bird. She's looking at herself. So, she's kind of liking that, huh? You like to see? You like to see yourself? What a pretty bird. Pretty bird. Look at her pretty. Yes. Say bye. Bye, people. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to peck the subscribe button, notification bell, and to fly over to the like button if you like it and want to see more. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.